So I'm just doing a quick uh, video on these vintage knives um, that I've had in my collection for a number of years, a long, long time. This one I bought back in 1988 and I was gifted this one uh, probably a year later. So we'll start with this one. This is the uh, Gerber MK1. It's a boot knife. It's a leather sheath. Um, five inch blade and this really neat um, single handed operation release design. Um, as you can see it's got the original Sword in the Stone logo from Gerber, which I don't think they've used since the 1980s. Um, and I think these were tool steel, so I'm pretty sure from memory these were tool steel hardened to Rockwell C60 to 62, and 62 will cut steel, so it's um, pretty impressive. The handle is a cast aluminium and it's coated in a thermoplastic, and as you can see, this has had a lot of wear and use and abuse and it's all chipping away now but this knife considering it is 40 plus years old um, has held up rather well over the years this is the LMF um, first knife first serious knife I bought um, once I got a full-time job um, these weren't cheap when um, what our dollar was back then but it was it worked out this knife was like 250 bucks retail and I think I ended up paying 220 or something for it um, this is the small cousin of the BMF so LMF stands for lightweight multifunction the knife came out in about 1987 and the BMF came out in 1986 both knives featured this um, ballistic nylon sheath this uh, strap which allowed you to attach a pouch. The LMF never came with a pouch. I just found one that matched the, um, the webbing and put that on there. Both knives have um, this clip on the back which was originally designed for Alice packs um, but is compatible with Molly and it's a spring loaded quick release system on a some sort of plastic finish here which is really really neat. Again there's your Sword in the Stone logo legendary blades um, really really well thought out now I have modified this and we'll uh, fess up to that um, because I actually use this thing the BMF had a sharpening stone I just figured that it would be it would make sense to add one the same way as the BMF was done so I bought myself a little diamond hone and some arrow bite and put it on there it's interesting it's never broken off even because uh, that was done back in the very late 80s. Um, pouch, put a survival kit in there. Um, I don't have a survival kit. All I've got is a cigarette lighter and a, and a can opener. Because at, at the end of the day, to be all honest, that's the only things I've really needed. I've never needed fish hooks and needles and everything else that people put in their survival kits. Um, the blade itself, it's got a nice skewer. Um, positive fastening thing is a six inch stainless steel saw back these knives did come in two styles the smooth back or the or the saw back i went with a saw back because of the um, popularity of the rambo knives in the 80s and i still like rambo knives to this day so um i'm glad i got a saw back now this is the original one with a smooth curved drop back the later versions have a more angular, straight, and I think they changed the grind on this as well, the bevels. Um, the handle is a compressed foam. I'm not sure of the name of it, but as you can see, it's held up remarkably well over the years. This being a 30 plus year old knife is um, still in great shape. And for considering what it's been used for, how it's been used, um, it's held up extremely well over that, over that time. The, they don't make them like this anymore, that's for sure. The, so the blade, I think it's 440C. I think it was hardened to 55 on the Rockwell scale for toughness. Uh, you get a cast stainless guard and a cast stainless cap. And it's all been, um, designed to be ergonomically 
uh, what even a word, nice ergonomic fit in the hand, um, with good positive grip, I, I really like the design of this, it's great, um, the BMF just had a straight plate guard, and then our handle wasn't as contoured, but it was also a um, hundred odd dollars more than this guy, so, um, and that's why I bought the uh, this version. So there it is. Um, I'll wrap it up there for now. It's uh, it's kind of cool. I have got something very special coming in the mail in the next couple of weeks. So I'll do a follow up video uh, when that arrives, um, and we'll take a look at take a look at it when it gets here. Um, thanks for watching.